Hi, I'm Darwin. I'm a high school junior at the Avertech program, and I'm excited to teach you how to make your own rock blaster game to save the hero from getting hit by the rockets. However, let's first get our tools ready. We're going to get all of our characters by clicking the link in the blog post, or you can pick your own sprites and backdrop and scratch. All right, now that we have our project set up, on the left, you will see a toolbox with some bright color buttons. These are various type of blocks that you can use however you see a fit to create your project. In the middle of the windows, you have a blank space known as the workspace. You'll be doing all the coding in this workspace. On the right side is the stage where you can see the results of your coding. Switch is right. You must first click on that on the cat on the cat icon that's on the bottom right corner of the screen. So here you can switch uh, between different sprites if you want. You can choose anything you want. So after that, you set the stage background and then begin coding for the characters. So you can choose any background you, you can think of as well. And after you set the stage background, then begin coding for the characters, which I got, we already got the characters here. So when you click on the link, you will get the, you will get these characters. But if you, if you, if you wanna switch um, or characters, you can just, Click on the cat icon again and just just switch them if you want. I'm just gonna start the game real quick so you so that you can have an example of how the game will solve by the end of this video. So you use the arrow keys to move the character and shoot down the enemy with the space bar in your keyboard. So let me show you. This is, I'm just touching the space bar right now. So what the character does is shoot, he shoots like lasers in his, in his um, hand to destroy the rockets. Okay, so you, so you had to avoid as many rockets as possible if you don't want to lose. But the thing is, if you, if you touch the parrots, you lose points. In my case, I created a version of the game by using different sprites yeah. and backgrounds, but you can create your own. So as you know the basis of how the game works, let's start coding. We got all of our sprites here. You have to make all, all our variables now. So a variable stores information of our game. Our variable identifies the score of the game. So let's make the variable. So to make a variable, first you need to click on, on this button right here. That says variables. And we click here, make a variable. So we named our variable score. Then we click OK. And now you guys should see the score on your game right now. Here it is. So first things first, let's start with the character. So you have to make sure that the character is, is perfectly selected. So, that, so we have to select the hero first. So, if you want to code out, if you want to start the game, we go to events and we select this code that says when green flag clicked, we drag it out to the to the coding workspace. So we select when green flag clicked first because we always have to start with that code in order to start the game. So now we go to variables. And we click on this code right here that sets, sets score to zero. 
we grab this to the workspace and we put it right under when we green flag click. And we leave that to zero. You don't have to worry about this one. Just leave it to zero. So so this works be this works in order to when you restart the game, it sets the score back to zero. So you're not you don't have to worry about the score not changing. It, it sets the score back to zero when the green flag is clicked. So for a character, if you want to change the size, I recommend going to looks and grabbing this code right here that says set size to 100%. We grab this and put it on the workspace, put it underneath, set score to zero. So if you guys want to change the size of the character, you just have to change the number of it. So in my case, I'll just say 50%. See how how I got how I changed the size of the character and now it's not big. But in my case, I'll make it much more much smaller to to fit to fit in the game right. So this is I feel like this is the right the right um size for the character to begin with. So now we start with moving the characters first. So we go to motion. We choose the block that says go to X equals minus 152. Y equals uh, uh, minus 128. I'll just put on negative 180. And this just set it to zero. So the reason I have negative 180 and zero is because negative 180 makes the character go to the left side of the screen and zero just basically just puts the character in the center of the screen, as you can see. So now we go to control and click on forever. So what the forever um, code does is that it will let your character know to do something over and over again. In this case, it will know which way to move the character. So if it's moving up, up and down, you can do that forever. All right, let's so go to control again. All right, and we select this command. It says if blank Ben. We put it underneath forever. And now we go to sensing. And we select this command that says key space pressed. We grab it and then we put it right here where it's right inside um, if then. So this what it does, what this does is that you can you can pretty much set um what keys you're you're gonna use to move the character. So in this case, I'm just gonna choose the up arrow keys on your keyboard to move the character up. It's gonna make the character go up. Look. And now I'm going to motion and grab this command that says change y by 10. Put it right here. So as you can see, my character is moving up right now. So what what this does is like if it's if you want the character to move too slow, you can just set this to one and we click on the green flag to test it. And as you can see, the character is moving really slow. So yeah, you can basically set the speed of uh, the characters moving. All right, so now I want to move my character down. So you can see I'm pressing the down key. 
but the up can worse. So let's set the chem let's set the code for that. All right. So now we go to control. We grab this again, F then underneath here. And like I said again, if you want to move the character down, we set we set the, the same command here. We put it inside of then. We change this to the down arrow in my case. In your keyboard. And so if you want to move the character down. And now we grab one of this command again. We got a motion. We now go we now select this command again. We move it underneath this. It says key down press, like we did in here. But this time change the command to negative 10 in order to make in order to make the character go the opposite way of up. So now it should now it should now go down. So you can see it's going up and down. And now we set up the enemy. 